guys, welcome back. Today I'll be creating a number two and it's Minnie Mouse inspired. So let's go ahead and it's real simple, real quick. We're on design space. We're gonna go to our left hand side, click on images, I already have it here. You're just gonna type in what you're looking for. I typed in Mickey Mouse and I also want to type in Minnie Mouse, not not Mickey Mouse, it's Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse. And then once you type in Minnie Mouse, if you want, you can go ahead and go to your left hand side to this layers panel, layers panel, where your layers panel is right here. And then you can go ahead and click on purchase and free. And then once you click on that, it'll come up, hit enter, and then you go ahead and select the images you'll be using. So I need this bow. When you click on your image, you'll see it in the bottom of the screen. We're gonna go ahead and insert images. Okay, here, go to your layers panel on your right hand side. Let's unclick the eye because that's the shadow. Once you do that, on your stay on your layers panel and then once you click on that black shadow, you go to your banner in between line type and fill, you'll see that black box. That black box will identify what you just clicked on on your layers panel. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it in cut because it's an SVG. Click on that black box and I'm going to change the color because just the reference, just to remind myself what color I'm using. So that will be gold. So let's just look for a gold. I clicked on the brown and then go lighter, lighter, whatever looks like light gold, I don't know. Let me see. Okay, let's just leave it like that. And then the pink, well, not the pink, the little dot, let's go to the layers panel, click on that little dot, click on that pink box, and then you'll see your gold color that you just used for your bow. We can click on it so we can change the, that little uh, front of the bow. So let's go back to the pink and I want it in lighter pink. So we have that pink. Let's go here and adjust it to a lighter pink. That's all we need to do. Highlight the entire image and let's size it. I'm using a 12 inch number. So the measurements are based on the size of your number. Of course, if you're using a, let's say a five inch number, of course the five inch bow will be too big, okay? So let me just go ahead and on the width, let's do a five and automatically, uh, yeah, let's leave it just like that. Set it aside. Let's go to your shapes because we're gonna get the ears. Okay, get one circle, click on the circle, go in between light type and fill, and let's put it to black. Remember, this is SVG, it's a cut, meaning you will stick your colored cardstock onto your mat, and the machine will cut this shape on that colored cardstock, and also the bow. Now, the ears, it's a five inch. Okay, that'll be great. That's all we need. Okay, let's go ahead and select the machine you'll be using. I'm using the maker. We're gonna go ahead and click on make it. On here, I'm going to apply, click on project copies too because of course I need the two little ears. But then it will duplicate this down right here. If you want, we can go ahead and click cancel, hide the bow, click on make it, and then go back again, click on number two, click on apply, change your material size, which is your cardstock. So I'm just going to do an eight and a half by 11. We're gonna go ahead and click continue. I'm using 65 pound black cardstock. Once you click on continue, let's just wait for the computer to pick up my maker. You select the type of cardstock. I'm going to do the 60 pound. My pressure remains the same. Once it does that, you stick your cardstock onto your mat and I'm going fast mode. So let me just go ahead and load it to my machine. And then once you see that fast mode, I click on the fast mode and we're gonna go ahead and cut. Once you cut, you click on cancel, 
click yes, cancel, hide the circle, you go to your layers panel, click on the eye, hiding the circle does not delete it from your canvas, it will not delete it, so see, in and out, let's go ahead and click on that eye for the bow, let's go ahead and click on make it, and I'm using a 100 pound glittered gold cardstock for the shadow, and then I'm using a 65 pound light pink cardstock. Follow same technique to cut. You load your glittered cardstock on to your mat, load it to your machine, and cut. Once you do all this, I'll see you guys back at the table so we can start putting that number two together. Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and start. We have both circles, which form the ears. Okay, we have the three-piece bow. We have the paper mache number two. It's a 12-inch. I already painted this side, which will only be this light pink. And then this part right here, I will glitter it up. Then I have my glue. I'm going to get my paintbrush. And I'm going to pour a generous amount of glue here. Okay. I have my glitter tray and my glitter, my gold glitter. So what I'm going what I like to do is I like to go in part. Because if I put the entire glue here, it's going to soak in. It's going to bubble up. So what I do is start this part right here first and make my way up. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Okay, we're done with the glitter. What I'm going to do, set it aside to dry. Once it dried, I'll apply a second coat. Let that dry for 24 hours and then come back and spray it with adhesive. I'll see you guys back soon. Okay, I gave it the second coat. It's dried. Now I'm going to apply the clear acrylic sealer and I'll Wait for it to dry maybe an hour or so, so we can start decorating it. Okay, it's completely dried, I'm sorry, the glare. And let's get our cutouts. For the cutouts, I use hot glue, but I'm thinking applying dimensionals on it on that first part of the bow so I'm just going to add some dimensionals some glue dots here Okay, let's grab the shadow and let's just go ahead and place it right on top and press down. And it looks great. Okay, and then grab the middle. I'm not sure if I want to add the dimensionals on here, the glue dots. I don't think I am. I'm just going to go ahead and place it right here. I'm going to add hot glue. And I have my glue gun. And let's go ahead and 
add that glue. Oh, I need a glue stick. What am I doing? Okay. Add a little bit of glue right there in the middle. Ouch. That was hot. <laughs> and press down. And there you go. Now, let's grab the the number two. I don't know how am I going to do this because the camera. Let's go ahead and place it. Place it here, right here. For the ears, this is the back side. So. You want to make sure this bottom part is aligned to the bottom part of the number two in the back and place it just like this. But I don't want them two separate, so let's just go ahead and place it. If you want, you can take a pen or a pencil and just underneath make a little line. So I'm just going to flip it over, flip it over, hold it, and just glue it. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that acrylic sealer because it's shedding just a little bit. Okay, let me go ahead and add that sealing and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I sprayed it again, so hopefully it is much better. Let's go ahead and grab the bow and what you're going to do is just place it right here in the middle. You can place it either this way. So that can cover. I think that'll be great. I'm going to do it just like this. And I'm going to place the... Add some glue. Sorry. Like this. And I'm going to add the glue right in the middle generous amount of glue because remember it is glitter so generous amount of glue and we're gonna go ahead and place it right here in the middle okay let's just move it around a little bit Okay, there you go. What I'm going to do is place a picture right at the end of the video so you guys can see it better. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And as usual, happy crafting.